नमस्कार एवरी चाइल्ड इज सच अक थिंग एवरी ह्यूमन इज बट वेन यू डील विद चाइल्ड एट डिफरेंट एज ग्रुप देर मैनेजमेंट हैज टू बी डिफरेंट वेरी स्मॉल यू हैव टू जस्ट केयर and so we always say that we are caring and compassionate parents but as they grow age from 2 to 5 they have their own pranks they want to do what they want to do you say don't do this they definitely do that so chanakya says that don't use the word don't at all because they are going to do that and then you will react and remember this statement a person who responds is wise a person who reacts is fool and we all become fool because we all react with children don't you think so why because you tell child don't do this don't do that explain to your child why they should not do yet they are going to do all the stories of krishna are there in front and we all know that don't do this and he'll definitely do that so now how to deal with them very very clear that they need company they need somebody to be with them all the time and guide them in a creative way in a new systematic way one minute you leave them alone and they are going to do something which you will regret when they grow little bigger then of course their understanding is more clear you have to definitely not order them but explain to them why they should do that and ask them what they want to do and accordingly you should make your own planning so these are the ways to manage and after 12 to learn from them listen what they want to say and listen and be a good listen good caring person and that's how you should go about so now we believe that yoga should be introduced in their life as soon as possible after the age of 5 you should try and see that yoga is introduced in their life and before that also and so in yoga there are many interesting things first of all these asanas you should you all know that there are certain asanas which have the name according to nature birds animals and all these things we should make them to become like those things here is a peacock so peacock pose mayurasan here is mountain so mountain pose or here is um locust so locust pose shalakasan and so many asanas you will find they are all given the name gomukhasan garudasan prashasan where you try to sit like a bull then camel pose then there are dog pose cat poses and so many such poses are there so you all family members you all should take interest in doing these asanas as you can and you will always find that children they are much much flexible sometimes the little ones are more flexible and they will be able to do it perfectly encourage them tell them how wonderful they are and how good that after doing this they will become strong they will become capable their mind will become much capable and so on so forth encourage them and then maybe give them some awards also in sense you do this and you will get this this also is possible you see the these four words are used very often for children sam dam dand and bhed these four words that very lovingly please come on you are my baby no come on do this i feel so happy this sort of a stuff sam lovingly caring and child also doesn't want to displease his parents child would also do child does which but the child wants to have the love of the parents and then child realizes that well child can get the love if child is listening to them and child does listen but in between does his pranks so this is how it goes about it's very interesting when as a third person you watch all these things 
So this is sam, dam is you do this and I do this. If you eat one chapati, then I will play with you this, this, this game which he loves to play and so on. So this is called dam. If you do certain things, we will go and uh, all together we will make something and enjoy and so on. So find out how to go about right now you are in a condition where you are right in the house. Whole family is in the house. Children are equally stressed. Grown-ups are stressed. Very old people are under stress. Everybody is under stress. And everybody under stress is going to react. But which child, if you react, that will not work. Because children are known for what is called as a jidd. That is adamance. And they would just do it. And so don't, you will really, really lose your cool and you can really get into a state where your blood pressure may also go high. And so see to it that you are, don't react. Even if child has done something very wrong, you correct it, take the help of child only to correct it and show that fine, that is done and the moment is gone. Educating child right now will not be possible. Only diverting child's mind would be much better management. <clears throat> More attractive thing so that that lesser attractive thing is taken care of. This is something. So in asanas, we can do all these things thoroughly well. And then the second area, all those animals or all those natural things which they have depicted, they have acted upon. There are stories about it, isn't it? So these stories. <coughs> you can learn a lot from stories. <coughs> Who doesn't like stories? Even grown-ups, they love stories. Children, they love stories. So little, little stories about various things. Jata Katha, Amarchita Kathas, Aesop's Fables, very, very interesting stories they are. And the family members should also help each other. If there is a child in the house, just see to it that all of you find out one story. And when you are together, you are narrating that story very interesting way, acting it out well. And children would love that at any age. So, try and come out with some new, new things. Then we talk about breathing techniques, pranayam. And here also children could be introduced very fast, after the age of 9 and definitely after 12. They should know what is breath. I very often tell people that to introduce pranayam to children, to make them aware about breath. First, whole family would run from one place to another place, those who can. Children definitely would like to run because every child first learns how to walk and then slowly that child, once he starts walking, then he starts running, he falls down, he gets up, cries also, but runs and then jumping all these are stepwise development of a child. So running <clears throat> and run, run, run for two minutes and then sit quietly with the eyes closed. And then you realize that your breath is going fast. <clears throat> Tell child to watch the breath. the breath and they realize breath is going fast <clears throat> and when that goes fast their mind goes on breath and then we tell them to watch calm down close your eyes just watch your breath maybe in a minute <clears throat> in one minute how many times you are breathing count one minute maybe too much 15 seconds count and then slowly close your eyes and then after two minutes or five minutes Again, count your breath and they would realize that breath changes. 
it becomes slower. First it was faster. So this awareness about breath comes. And that is what is important with children. And then the practice, om, humming, they just love it. You tell them breathe in, they breathe in their way. You don't teach them systematic pranayam. But breathe, come on, they would breathe in and then mm, or om, ah, ah, ah. They can do any of these notes and breathe out as long as they can continue the sound. <clears throat> Very interesting for children, whole family can do and then they realize that some people can't have a long breath, some will have long, some will have very long and watching everybody also would be fine. Interesting game it is. Cleansing processes, most important and in today's scenario it is still more important that we are washing our hands, which are the areas which we are supposed to rub and how we should manage and then after that how we should wipe our hands. All these things are important. <clears throat> You have touched. What did you touch? Close your eyes and find out before this where did you go and what did you touch and then wash your hands. So such awareness has to be managed. And then in breathing, Kapal Bhati, breathing in and breathing out fast, they just love it. Rather you make little face, a small child in your arm also would like to do that. I tell you then when they catch cold and all, all that because the seasonal change is there and they do catch cold. If they know this Kapal Bhati, they will be able to handle the mucus very easily. And they would love to do this. But elders should take interest in child. Elders should be with child. Make child understand. Then rubbing forehead, okay, moving finger hand on neck. When they are coughing, we tell children, come on, look up. And the cough stops. <clears throat> they can stop. <laughs> or when they have hiccups, we tell them, look up. And the hiccups stop. So all these experience they get with body movements, breathing, and all such stuff. So such things are most important <clears throat> for children. Stories, physical awareness and management. And then <clears throat> learning from children what they know. Parents should never show that, oh, nothing. Rather, I have noticed people who are into accountancies or management and all that, they hardly have awareness about their body. Very often I have seen that. They don't know how stomach is working or how lungs are working or how you know, bladders are uh, functioning. They, they, they don't know anything. They are not aware about it. They are busy in their world. Children, they have learnt in school what are different organs, what are the functioning of the organs. This is the time when whole family is in the house. A child who has studied in 5th standard, 6th standard, ask them, please teach us what lungs means and what heart means and what kidney means and what liver means and you will realize that so many things you have forgotten. In school time you have studied all these things but somehow we forget. We even forget how, the, how they function and so on. So learning from children is such a beautiful thing. Tell them that come on teach us. We know nothing about it. Never depict as if you know more than child. Doesn't go like that. Actually, I have seen other way around. We elders, we know much, much less than what child knows. I am not talking about these little, little knowledge, informations. Information now so you will get in your mobile, internet, you will get all the information. We are not talking about that. I am talking about something else. Something else means, of course, this information which child remembers and teaches you is one area and you should be sincere. But the other thing that children are so truthful, 
they see and they learn. That here we have to be extra, extra careful. When you react, child is seeing how you react. I know one girl, she would come home and her mother would say, first, come on, what are, what's the homework? Tell, show me, and then come on. Let's first finish the homework, then only you can go for play. And that child doesn't want to sit and study again. Child wants to go to play. So she is that three and a half, four year old girl. And what she does is, mother makes her to sit, and then she starts writing and slowly throws her pen down on the ground. And mother is little irritated. What is this? You can't hold the pen properly. And she again gives the pen. Again, she writes one sentence and throws it down. Again, mother shouts. And then third time, the mother can't tolerate. And then she is shouting and angry and gives one spank and child is crying and then she goes away. She says, I have a headache. Taking you to sit and study is a big problem. And she goes away and then child is free to play. See how clever they are. They know what are your weaknesses, what are your weak points. They know what's your nature, what's your habit. Very clearly they know. Children, they see humans very carefully, very much in detail. You may not be knowing how you are behaving. When you shout, what is your face? Have you seen, taken a mirror and seen your face when you are shouting? Have you? No, no. Now, child has seen your face. And child knows that here now anger is increasing and here now you are going to burst out in anger. And child knows how to take advantage of your weakness. And so try and see that you don't ever become weak emotionally. You have to learn lesson from child about emotions. <clears throat> Children, they also cry, they also um, shout, they also demand all that they do. But they come to normal immediately. You shout and then you are in a normal mood again. But humans, grown-ups, they are with a bad mood for a long, long time. It is not how you react with the situation that is so important as how fast you come back to your normal scene. That is important. It is not that the problems which are there around, uh, if the problems are not there, you will feel comfortable. No. How you deal with the problem, how balanced way or how coolly you deal with the problem, that is what is important. So try and see that with children, you be very much careful about expressing your negative emotions. With children, be very much careful about how you otherwise are behaving. They say, no, when you are alone, watch your thoughts. But when you are with people, watch your words, what you speak. And if a child is there in front of you, you have to think twice what you speak. But how you speak, what are your expressions? Because child is watching you. He, it's like a mirror. Child is continuously watching you. If you worry, child can see. If you are angry, child can see. If you are sad, child can see. You don't have to tell child. I know one gentleman who was worrying because his wife was very, very sick. And he was sitting on a chair and just sitting quietly. And the neighbor, in the neighbor there was a child. Child just comes and sees that uncle. He does nothing. He goes and sits in the lap of that uncle. And that uncle feels very much cared for. And uncle hugs the baby and cries for two minutes. Nothing else. Child has helped you. Not by speaking, but just by being around you. So try and see that you don't ever become emotionally weak. You try and learn from child how child could be normal, natural, and how fast child 
forgets and forgives everybody. Just forgets and forgives. What a big quality which these children have, which we grown-ups have forgotten. We also have gone through that age. But as we grow, we, we are more calculative. We are more, uh, what do we say? <clears throat> Clever. To see what to express, what not to express. How to deal. <coughs> and so, <clears throat> yoga, when it is introduced, we have introduced asanas, we have introduced stories, introduced pranayam, now introduce our culture. <clears throat> and so here comes the place of singing, dancing, artwork. Come on, here is a newspaper, old papers or unwanted things around. What child is seeing in that unwanted thing, what is the shape for him? And how to make it more in, <coughs> in the plate. So we'll have to become that creative. And try to play. So art, craft, music. I feel that in the house, all of us should have some systematic timetable. When, what is the time for game. What is the time for dancing and singing? What is the time for music? What is the time for kitchen? Now that kitchen is very interesting place for children also. When you are rolling chapati, why can't you make your dough little bit harder and give that dough to your baby, to your child. Child between the age of two, three, till six, seven. They would love to play with dough and make some shape and laugh and giggle, hold it, stick it here and there, and so on. Let them mess the things, nothing is wrong. Then child also would be there to help you in cleaning. Child will again mess, but you have to learn. To see that how child doesn't need a big, big toys for entertainment. <coughs> All are household things. <clears throat> they are required. They are sufficient. Some broken cup. How to make use of that cup? So somebody is putting little flowers here and there and making into flowers. Innumerable things. You can do when we talk about art and craft, but we talk about the kitchen and kitchen environment. Family should be in kitchen for half an hour, twice a day at least. And where children are also supposed to do certain things. If you are washing the plate, give them a thing to wipe. Let them wash also and you wipe and tell them how good they are in all these things. Children need encouragement and they become more sincere, more helpful, I guarantee. They would just want encouragement and praise a little bit and you will see the difference, the way in which they would cooperate with you and help you. And when all such little things are done, they would just be a joy in the house. A child who is running laughing, giggling, putting things here and there. I mean, your entire attention is focused on child. You can't do anything else. And the child is there. And you also learn to laugh and giggle with child. So yoga for children, when we talk about games for balancing, yoga games for respiratory system, yoga games for having more strength, Strengthening games. All these are like little games which you should play with children. Um, balancing games, standing on one leg, moving another leg in different directions, trying to sit down without shade, looking here and there and getting up. How fast you can sit down and fast you can get up and how slow you can sit down. Walking, make a straight line and the foot has to be on that line only. Walking, 
on straight line that is like catwalk very very interesting grown ups will not be able to do that so but as kids will be able to do that so do that the little games of jumping picking up things and so on ball game if you don't have ball in your house come on be creative take a cloth um, a sort of and may roll it and make it into a round thing to catch here and there so all such new new things have to come in the family <clears throat> all that is possible only when we start taking interest in each other start seeing that the tension of each other is gone because this tension with tension person will not be able to live for long some or other sickness will come and so it is very interesting to see that you are helping each other out to laugh to giggle to dance to enjoy and so these games also and some fixed time for all these things all that would work wonders so enjoy <coughs> each other's company this is an opportunity to see that we are with, together i am hearing many fathers and mothers they say that we have never spent time with our children because everybody is busy in this world not they are busy in studying you are busy in making money you are busy in doing your responsibilities and duties and taking care no way we are together here because of this whole situation when we are together let me tell you children would be a big boon they would be rather really more loyal more capable strength around you and you would now see that instead of saying that go 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 out and play don't disturb me or don't do this don't do that instead of that you will start telling them let's do this together let's do that together please help me out in doing this together and the whole language will change and this is how i want everybody to understand so try and do your part <clears throat> do your duty well help children to grow healthily with positive frame of mind help children to show your best by showing your best and not your negativity by showing your positivity and you will know that you will learn to remain positive yourself in spite of chaos around so it's a very good situation i would say that the family is together and you can make the best out of it so take care do your job well and love your children they are very very pure soul very very creative very innovative energetic and so take help of all those wisdoms which children have to take, manage this today's scenario now